This is a Daily Purpose Bible Study and Devotional, a podcast by Our Given Purpose. I'm your host, Tori Slaughter, and together we dive deeper into God's Word, seeking daily inspiration, guidance, and spiritual growth. Turn with me in the Scriptures to Psalms 6. Psalms chapter 6, verses 1 through 10. Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your wrath. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I am faint. Heal me, Lord, for my bones are in agony. My soul is in deep anguish. How long, Lord, how long? Turn, Lord, and deliver me. Save me because of your unfailing love. Among the dead, no one proclaims your name. Who praises you from the grave? I am worn out from groaning. All night long, I flood my bed with weeping and drench my couch with tears. My eyes grow weak with sorrow. They fail because of my foes. Away from me, all you who do evil, for the Lord has heard my weeping. The Lord has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies will be overwhelmed with shame and anguish. They will turn back and suddenly be put to shame. Lord, we thank you for the reading of your word. Psalms 6 verses 1 through 10. Psalm 6 is attributed to King David. It is a heartfelt expression of anguish, repentance, and the seeking of God's mercy and restoration. This psalm serves as a profound example of turning to God in times of distress, finding solace, and experiencing the transformative power of His love and grace. In this Bible study titled, Finding Comfort and Renewal, Experiencing Psalm 6, We will delve into the themes, structure, and notable Hebrew words found in Psalm 6. Psalm 6 is classified as a penitential psalm, belonging to a subset of psalms that express deep sorrow, repentance, and the plea for forgiveness. Its specifical historic context is uncertain, but it is believed to have been written during a time of personal crisis in David's life. King David's vulnerability and raw emotions resonates with readers as they too have experienced the depths of despair and the need for God's mercy and healing. So Psalm 6 can be divided into three distinct sections, the plea for mercy and healing in verses 1 through 3, the description of David's anguish in verses 4 through 7, and the affirmation of God's response and deliverance in verses 8 through 10. This structure highlights the progression from pain and despair to a confident trust in God's faithfulness. Let's look at the Hebrew words. Verse 4 has the Hebrew word hased. This word refers to God's steadfast love, kindness, and faithfulness. David appeals to God's hased, acknowledging his dependence on God's enduring love and grace. Sheol, in verse 5. This term is often translated as the grave or the realm of the dead. It represents the depths of despair and hopelessness that David feels, emphasizing his urgent need for God's intervention. In verse 9, we have Mizmor. This word is translated as song or psalm. It underscores the poetic nature of the psalm and highlights David's desire to offer a song of praise and thanksgiving once he receives God's deliverance. So the key themes of Psalm 6 is the plea for mercy. King David begins by earnestly pleading for God's mercy and healing. He acknowledges his own unworthiness and relies on God's compassion and grace. Have you been there? Hallelujah. The next is distress and anguish. David also vividly describes his physical and emotional anguish using powerful imagery to convey his pain and turmoil. He bears his soul before God, pouring out his sorrow and seeking relief. In the final section, David expresses his confidence in God's response. He affirms his trust in God's faithfulness and anticipates his deliverance, declaring that his enemies will be put to shame. 
Psalm 6 is a reminder that in our moments of despair and brokenness, we can turn to God with honesty and vulnerability. Like David, we can find comfort, renewal, and hope in his mercy and love. This psalm teaches us the power of repentance, the importance of seeking God's forgiveness, and the assurance that he hears our cries and responds to our deepest needs. This powerful message of faith, repentance, and God's steadfast love through David's heartfelt plea, we are invited to approach God in our times of distress, trusting in his mercy and finding solace in his presence. Dear friends, as we meditate on the themes and words of this psalm, may we be inspired to seek God wholeheartedly, knowing that he is compassionate and a loving father who hears our prayers and brings healing to our wounded souls. Amen? Amen. Hold on, don't move. Pause and let's hear a word from our sponsor. Attention coffee lovers. Hello, I'm Brian Sell, CEO of the Warriors Collection brand, and I would love to introduce you to the ultimate destination for premium handcrafted coffee that brings joy and purpose to your daily brew. That's why we're excited to offer you an exclusive deal for a limited time. Enjoy a special discount of 15%. 15% off your purchase when you use promo code PURPOSE at checkout. Visit our website at warriorscollectionbrand.com today. Now, let's turn our attention to contributing writer Stephanie Bright. Get Real with God by contributing writer Stephanie Bright. Do you like reading the Psalms? If so, why do you enjoy reading through this particular book? I would venture to guess that it has something to do with how relatable the passages are. Throughout the 150 Psalms, you read heartbreak, grief, war, betrayal, joy, adoration, frustration, sadness, and every possible emotion and circumstance imaginable. Psalm 6 keeps it real, right? David was pouring out his heart. As he wrote, he wasn't concerned about seeming perfect or put together. We read of his raw emotions as he experienced them. The genuineness of it is all blatantly evident. Here's the catch, though. Sometimes we read these passages and conceive this idea in our head that King David had the right to be real, raw, and open with God, but we don't have that same freedom. We have taught ourselves that we must clean ourselves up before God hears from us and we can't be too emotional. But that's not the case at all. God wants to hear from us in whatever state or condition we may be experiencing. Just like King David in the Psalms, we have the right and ability to get real with God. You can vent to him about your day. You can ugly cry in his presence. You can squeal with joy and you can also scream in frustration. All are welcome with him. Your humanity doesn't scare him away, nor does it catch him off guard. Dear friend, I challenge you today to get real with God. Be honest with him. Jesus sacrificed his life to bring you into communion with our Abba Father. Make sure that you exercise that ability to commune with him. He wants your heart. He wants to hear from you. Get Real with God by contributing writer Stephanie Bright. A Daily Purpose Bible Study and Devotional offers you the perfect chance to initiate a conversation about God's Word. We are deeply grateful for you for sharing this podcast with your friends and family. We thank our many sponsors whose donations help us to provide this valuable content. If you feel led to contribute financially and become part of the Our Given Purpose ministry, please visit OurGivenPurpose.com. Your contribution will help us spread God's message and connect with people all over the world. Remember, you have seeds to sprinkle and don't lose sight of the ones falling on you. Where will they grow? By the road and shallow soil and the thickets? Or will they find a home in good soil to flourish and produce a good work? 
What God has begun in you, He will complete. Have faith and be bold. You've just heard a Daily Purpose Bible Study and Devotional, a podcast by Our Given Purpose. Go ahead and share it with a friend right now.